Yo, boy, yo, it's GH, GH, right now, live in the flesh, don't watch that TV, don't know. Boy, every Wednesday from eight to ten. Uh, yeah, we're some raps. This is just jam. Don't watch that TV. I'm here with Tim Barry. I got Shiz. I got Pyra. I got Axe Man. I got Silencer. I'm Moby. Everyone's in the building. This is our pilot, so you gonna have to bear with us, obviously. Like yeah. First time. Us, we iron out the creases. Yeah. So we're a bit late, but don't know. We've done everything a little bit late. It's nothing more. Fashionably late. Um, starting off and over to Motive, big man with the big tunes. Uh, I'm out. Yeah, thank for that. That was DJ Motive. Big man with a big tune. Don't know. He's back in a bit, so uh, stay tuned for that. Now at Just Jam, we got Silencer. Just Jam. What's going on, Jack? What's happening, bro? Thanks for coming down. Yeah, I know, man. Much appreciated, man. I'm here, I'm here. Don't know. Well, like, for everyone that don't know who you are, and I'm sure there's not many people, come tell us who you are. Yo, I go by the name of Silencer, a.k.a. Teddy Music. Catch you on my Twitter, www.twitter.com forward slash Teddy underscore music. Still, what's going on, Jack? Right, I know much, dude. We're just trying this first night out. It's going well. Trust Whatever. me, just Jack, make sure you lock lock in every single Wednesdays because we're here, man. A little pilot thing, trying to get it running. Got a little bit of a technical. We're cool? Yeah, we're, we're cool. live, like Channel 5. That's it, like, bruv. Like, this is the <laughs> little tester. But it's all yeah, good. mate. Or what channel you want, mate? It's all live, innit? We don't, don't <laughs> watch TV, Don't bro. know the extenders. Yeah, yeah, don't know everyone's. Yeah, on EastEnders, EastEnders is a bad hype, still. Everyone's on EastEnders. Still, nah. Um, so, yeah, if there is any technicals, there's our pilot, so boom, we're trying this out for the first time. Um, obviously, you've been affiliated, you know, to them Barry a long while. You've been yeah, I know, I've been supporting them for a while, still. I've been watching them for when I didn't even know them. They were really, really doing their thing, and I was interested. It was bringing the next sort of attention to the grime scene. And I thought, you know what, I need to get involved in this. So, like, you know, that's how I kind of connected with them as well. And now I'm here, just jab. Like, what was your first tune that sort of broke you? Sort of oh, yeah, I would say World War Four. That just broke me, man. Like, I didn't really think much of that tune. I was just giving it out like it was war. I was putting it up on the forums, free download, giving it to every single person jack jim jones peter <laughs> harry elizabeth i was giving it to everyone and i didn't really know how good it was until like yeah. i gave it to maximum and he spun it and then now everyone's spinning it even myself <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah man that's it man really and truly and you definitely you've got your sort of own unique sound you know what i mean like we you hear a teddy beat and you know straight away like, yeah i just i just try and bring my own style to it if i know it sounds like someone else i'll just throw it away was you in the garage scene? Did you start off in jungle? Where did you? No, no, no. I was strictly thing? grind from the start. I was strictly grind. Right. But I started off with like bootlegging tracks. Like I was part of that bandwagon where everyone was boot bootlegging Dizzy Rascal Ho and Dizzy Rascal Go and Wiley Eskimo, and I was just bootlegging it. I was thinking, hold on a second, how can I be bootlegging everyone's music if really yeah. and truly I could be making my own music? Mm -hmm. and then I just started making my own music, and, you know. I don't know, like to be honest, like I've never made a tune like Wiley, I've never made a tune like Dizzy, and I've never made a tune like Skepta. 
I've never really made a tune like no one at the moment, but oh, I kind of like, I don't know, the only, the only producer that I would say I used to listen to back in the day was Virgo. Mm. That was only one that I really, and Rapid as well, I just used to pay attention yeah, to them two rapid. producers there still. But apart from that, I never really feel that I was inspired by any other producer. And how do you think the scene is for producers now? Like, it's definitely moved on a lot. Um, yeah, it has, it has, it has, but it's kind of moved off onto the dubstep scene. Yeah. That's what everyone feels that they need wobbles in their tunes, and I feel that that's not that's not the way. Like, if you're making grime, then make grime. Like, I make yeah. grime. I don't add wobbles to my music. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, what I'm you no people now? Are so I'm saying you gotta keep it grimy. You can't make dubstep and tell people you're making grime. It doesn't make sense. Do you not see the appeal? Like, do you, do you not I, feel? Do you not feel to make dubstep beats? Just because I speak to a lot of producers and they're like, just because I make grime beats, I feel to make dubstep beats. You know I'll I mean? prefer to make a grime tune and play it in a dubstep rave, and yeah. you'll just react the same way to how you heard the dubstep track. Yeah, don't know that happens all the time. There's a lot of like, there's a lot of crossover, and you do yeah. see it the other way around. Do you know what I mean? And That's you, what I'm saying. A lot of dubstep tunes are. Grime, the grime beats, the grime sounds. Because how I see it is, everyone has a brain, and you have to find a way to mess with the brain to take over. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. if you don't know how to mess up the brain, then you're mad. Because if you make a track and it's good, people will bounce to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I see it. Like, I don't think I need to make anything wobble. Maybe I, one day I might wake it wobble a bit, but <laughs> you know, no homo. <laughs> but you know, like you just got to make good music, and if people feel your music, then that's it. That's what it really is, isn't it? And what about promotion? Why, as you feel about the scene nowadays with sort of everything in the last sort of couple of years has gone sort of mad? Yeah, I think a lot of people are releasing a lot of material. I think it's, it's moving kind of well. Like everyone just needs to start putting some money in and not thinking about the future and thinking that they'll go broke. Just put the money in and release, man. That's how I see it, man. And as far as producers, are you having contact with sort of more mainstream people getting at you and whatnot? Um, uh, well, as far as PRS and things like that, because obviously there's a lot of money to be made, sort of. In yeah, I get a lot of that. PRS still. Like a lot of people play my tunes, picking up every DJ playing my tunes. But yeah, I just, I just think like, I don't know. Like I've, I've been working with a few people at the moment. Like I was supposed to be working with that guy Teddy from the Mitchell Brothers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I was meant to, and I've done a remix for Agro's new single, um, Candy, and I, I was meant to actually do Ironic single as well, the remix for Ironic yeah, single, but I just left that. My manager was meant to get back to me and they didn't get back to me, so I don't know. Old time management. There was a few remixes I was meant to do, but obviously they didn't get. You know where people don't trust your whether you're gonna do it correct, so you know. But don't worry, hopefully I'll prove them wrong soon. You know what I mean? You definitely, definitely, you've done a lot. Like your, your sound and the whole Teddy thing, the whole everything about your sound is unique. Do you know what I mean? And people want for it. Are, are you DJing now? You thought about DJing at all or anything wow, like that? I've been DJing for a long years. You know what? A lot of people don't realize I have been DJing. A lot of people think the Silence R or Rinse FM is is just a, a separate DJ just trying to cut the producer's name. But really and truly, it's me. I'm on Rinse FM. Tonight, 1 a.m. Yeah. to 3 a.m. Yeah. Mixing the best of grime, keeping it grimy. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's it, man. I never yeah. realised that myself. Yeah, yeah. So I know that I want to know, and I know a pair of people want to know with the whole Teddy. Where's that come from, man? Do you know what? I ain't ashamed to say it. <laughs> Go, on. Go on YouTube, type in. Nah, I don't want to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Go on YouTube.com. And ty- type in on the search engine, Teddy Riley, Teddy Jam 2, and you'll see it. Yeah, I'm you'll gonna do that. It. I'll do that there. Still, could we get a computer rolling? Like, say again. So, we get the computer rolling. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Stop. Are y'all ready for the jam? I said, Are y'all ready for the jam? Yo, G, kick it. Jam. Oh, jam. Jam. Teddy Jam. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you can run that, get it spinning, connect it to the deck, should be nice, man. Um, but yeah, no, that's, do you know, everyone with their signatures and their little sound, that, that, that Teddy thing. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because like, you know what, I had to put it there, do you know why? Because a lot of artists don't tend to give people a lot of credit, like, through just saying, pick yeah, up yeah, the person. No, so, if it's there, I don't need to care about anything, because everyone will know it's me. Yeah, people are doing yeah. items, like you got Root Kids, are you ready? Yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's the best thing. And do you know what? The wickedest thing is, big up Root Kid because I actually yeah. noticed him doing it, so I thought I need to do it as well. So that's yeah. one thing that made me actually do it. 
Yeah, no, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a definitely a good way, because as you say, sometimes people can forget like, who's on the buttons and whatnot. So yeah, it's definitely a good little thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I just put the work in. And then as for the future, like, what's coming up in the pipeline uh, soon? Well, right now we've got an Amazon MP3, the Lunchbox collaboration CD. It's like a compilation CD with an artist called G Tank that everyone needs to watch out for. No, producer, shall I say. G Tank, yeah, and that's like it's, it was like 69 on the highest MP3 sellers charts on the first day, cool. so that's a good look as well. So everyone, make sure you go and get the Amazon MP3, the lunchbox, and Garnier on Fire is coming out pretty soon, so just look out for that. Yeah, man. We'll say for coming down, you know. Well, You're gonna spin a little deck for us now, yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm gonna go for a little mix too. Old tight silence, man. Oh yeah, up next we got Axe Man, we got Shiz. We got parade, we've got everyone down in there, so boom, stay tuned, we've got Michael Payne. Oh, we've got delusions as well, yeah? See so what the whole fam involved, everyone's down. So yeah, boom, stay tuned. Wow, bass. 